Continuing problems with our mental health. But labelling fault finding electric shock, medication and pills don't seem to help. Is this the real hand mankind has been dealt? Is his truth and sorrow spelt? Do our dreams and ambitions melt? By those who tell us it is impossible to know and understand the mind and self, and only they can help? Is it time now, my friends, to cut the cord of the medical man's wealth and turn the picture to our endowment and endowment of man's enormous? This is Noel Lindsay, and this is the Noel Lindsay Report. Uh, nothing in this show today should tell you to stop taking medication if you are on medication. We are not medical practitioners. Competent medical advice from a competent. In the show today, we're talking Dianetics. We have the wonderful, the amazing Brenda Shin all the way from Perth. I guess, Brenda, I should say good day. Indeed. Good day, Noel. Hi. Hi, update us. I mean, uh, we're still in the um, pandemic. We've got another change. Uh, we're supposed to wear masks and uh, masks in supermarkets, masks on the bus. What's the story? Uh, uh, update us from a Perth perspective. Pandemic. So, so in Perth, we've not had to wear masks, use gloves all along. We've got social distancing and the borders are closed. Uh, Perth is the most isolated city in the world. We've got the Indian Ocean on one side. We've, we've got, got the Australian, Australian Bush on the, on the other side. side. So we've and had we're... very little problems here at all. So it's, just, you know, you know, the borders are still closed and uh, uh, so social distancing is still in, but that's, that's, uh, that's really, really a, main the main thing that's affecting us just now. And, of course, Australians don't really do what they're told anyway, so the authorities don't have no, much no, chance. No, they, don't, they don't like to be told what to do. <laughs> okay, so to, so in today's show, thanks for joining us. In today's show, um, we began by talking about mental health. And uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, per Dianetics, there's enormous amounts of mental wealth. You're going to go through which chapter today? The analytical mind. Okay, so you're going through the analytical mind. Now, what is the difference between, what is different about Dianetics and how it describes the mind? Can you tell the, the view? Yeah, there's many major differences in um, the book Dianetics from what um, is in the mainstream. Um, and it is all in the chapter on the analytical mind. But here we've got a summary. Um, so Dianetics focuses on the abilities as opposed to the disabilities. Um, the anim analytical mind is described as being perfect, incapable of making any errors um, or mistakes. That's very new, new thinking. Um, it records every perception from the moment of conception, would you believe? And it has a fantastic storage, um, unbelievable ability uh, of uh, capacity to, of storage of all these things. And the research uh, in Dianetics shows that we actually have two different minds. This is the analytical mind and the reactive mind. And they're all fully described in the book. A lot of data there um, records every um, every uh, records continually um, an unbelievable amount of uh, um, storage, and there's two minds. Um, mm -hmm. Tell the viewers why this data is useful. Why does it? You know, why is this useful? It is very useful. Um, it's the first time uh, there is such a research uh, available. And uh, it describes both of these entities um, on how they work, um, which answers so many questions that man has had for a very long time. Um, it provides uh, a fantastic understanding of the mind. It's, it's true, true data. data. It gives you the tools to resolve the problems of the mm -hmm. mind. Um, um, if you want to fix a car... car you use your car manual, you, you know, there is data there to read on exactly how to do it. So, Dianetics is, so, so Dianetics is a manual of the mind, basically. 
It is, absolutely, yeah. It's the only manual of the mind which is actually has accurate data that when applied, you get results every single time. And this is why all this data is so, in, so valuable. So why is the analytical mind um, continuously recording? And what, what is the function of you know, we're, you're talking about recording con continuously, consecutively, from the very moment that it began, right up to right up to the now. Why does it do that? Indeed. Right, right. So, so we can actually use it to be successful and survive well in life. On pages 58, 57, um, it says that every perceptic um, is recorded. Um, sight, sight, sound, sound smell, taste, what's, touch, what's a, etc. What's a perceptic? It's when we perceive something. We actually, you know, we we perceive, we record everything around us um, is constantly being recorded consecutively. And these uh, perceptics, uh, they are filed as concepts. These are cross index with things like motion, speed, and these are cross index with, say, like location, which are cross index with thoughts on any subject and conclusions. So, so it's not, not so, 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 like so it's not only storing every piece of data; it's actually storing them in files um, per what the thing is, and then another file, what type of thing that thing is. So. It's it's the color, the size, the weight, and so on. So it's saying it's not only storing, actually storing everything in every detail, and it's filing things uh, in in every detail. Yeah, basically, it's a breakdown of how we think, how we compute, how we work things out, how we resolve problems, and also how new data can change old data. Um, you know, we can. We always have the ability to change our minds about things, and it, it is just it. It's when you when you read it, you go, oh yeah, well that that is what the mind does. But nobody else has actually specifically put exactly um, in specifics as to the capabilities of the analytical mind <clears throat> and it actually the mind begins recording at a very early age and it runs consecutively so and it does it whether we are asleep uh, whether we're awake and the only time it's not recorded is during uh, any periods of unconsciousness the mind is recording continuously from every consecutive moment Regardless, uh, but we're not aware of this. It's just something that's happening. We're not aware that it's recording. Um, and you're saying it's recording uh, every moment apart from when we're unconscious, even, even when we're asleep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Quite amazing. Anyway, so why, but why is Dianetics, why in Dianetics is the analytical mind called, why isn't it just a mind? And analytical because we've discovered that there are two or mr hubbard discovered that there are two actual actual minds so we have to name them something and this is the analytical mind because it actually analyzes that's exactly what it does okay I'm, <clears throat> we're going to go further into that i just wanted to take a short commercial break smoking marijuana it quickly escalated and within a few months it went to cocaine and straight to pills I forgot how to live life. I forgot how to enjoy life. Got wrapped up in something that is false. That's when I came to Narconon. I've been off drugs now for nine years. And I wouldn't swap it for anything. Call Narconon today at 01435 512 460. 01435 512 460. We got a phone call that my son was using heroin and we had no idea. I can honestly say I felt like the world was ending. It was tearing our family apart. He just wasn't the same person anymore. And then finally, I said I had enough, and luckily my mum found Narconon. Narconon put me in full control of my life. Call Narconon today at 01435 512 460. 01435 512 460. 
Welcome back. This is the Noel Lindsay Report. And uh, we are we just had an ad break there. If you want to know where to get the book, you can get it from the our, our um, internet radio site, which is noellindsayreport.com. You can order Dianetics if you want to. Or from if you're a Bab and you're from Birmingham, then you can order it from... You can call 0121 uh, 655-0112 or from Perth or Brenda. Indeed. So the area code for Perth is 08 and the number uh, for the uh, organisation there is 92217686. Also, great. Thank you. So also www.dianetics.org. Let's get the truth out there. Let's get this movement going. Let's uh, um, talk up our mental wealth. Let's not let's talk down our mental health. We have an enormous wealth according to Dianetics, uh, uh, according to uh, Dianetics, the, the, the analytical mind. We have enormous potential. You were in the middle of um, describing um, that uh, when uh, I was asking you why it called why is it called the analytical mind? You said because it, it, it actually analyzes. Um, my question is, and how does it do that? And, and uh, you know, it, it, rec it records everything. But yet, like yesterday, mm -hmm. I might I might not be able to remember what I had for breakfast or what I did last week. But you're saying it continually records every detail uh, of everything. It files it different colors, different perceptics, diff in weight, size, everything like this. But suppose, you know, people be saying, well, okay, but how does it do that if I can't remember last week? John said to me, I did blah. I don't remember anything, uh, anything about that. So how does that work? Right. This is because we've not actually realized that we have this ability that we can actually recall any moment in our past. Um, and this has been discovered uh, by Mr. Hubbard. Um, so because we've got this continual uh, record of every moment of stored data, a Dianetics counsellor is trained on the mind and they are able to, to prove this and help you to actually uncover things. But furthermore, anyone can actually check the data for themselves. Um, it's very simple. You just find a moment when you, um, from your past, say something, uh, a pleasure moment you enjoyed, something when you learned something, say like how to swim or how to ride a bike, and you can close your eyes and go over and over that time period um, or, you know, that instance. So, so an individual, so an individual can can actually check out his own recorders by going back to a time where he um, did the first, had a pleasure moment, did something for the first time. Close your eyes, and the more you go over it, you're saying that the more the uh, perceptics at the time, i.e., the sight, sight, sound, smell, taste, etc., are likely to come back, which proves that the mind did record everything at that time. Absolutely, that's exactly exactly it. Um, so you can have a go at that and uh, also read the book um, and learn more about it and actually do the counselling. It becomes more and more real that you actually can do that. Okay, and then you're going to be covering that as we go, as we review review the book. I mean, in terms of um, this uh, vast uh, amount of data that's recorded and stored, why is it needed? Is, is it really necessary? It is, yes. Um, why is that? It's... Um, well, it's how, it's how we survive. It's how we get through life. We actually use our mind. Um, we use our uh, conclusions. We use our, our knowledge, our experience in order to survive better. And um, this just, uh, you know, the analytical mind is a marvelous um, mental wealth. Um, there is also a book we we're talking about Dianetics. There's also this uh, a book called uh, Dianetics: The Evolution of a Science, which is a lot thinner book. And this also goes into the fantastic capabilities of the um, of the mind. He describes it as an optimum computing machine. Um, it has perfect accuracy on any problem, um, and produces an answers which are actually invariably right so give it give um, us an example then of of how of of the analytical mind um in in, in action um because um i can give you a number of uh, reasons that people might say well i don't feel that i've got a marvelous amazing 
capable endowment uh, of a um, uh, machine uh, in terms of uh, a mind because I can't get out of bed. I'm depressed. I'm, I have anxiety. I have fear. I, 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 don't, I feel um, incapable. I don't feel valued in myself. Uh, a million uh, op, uh, reasons or um, examples of the analytical mind apparently not actually being perfect, not actually being totally accurate spot, as you say. Mm. So we are just looking at the analytical mind there. The, the things that you mentioned there are not actually the analytical mind at work. The analytical mind that we are talking about now, it's, it's a beautiful, workable, it, uh, it's constructive. Yeah, but, uh, but, but, no, but if, I'm, if I'm suffering with depression or anxiety and you're telling me, well, I've got this amazing bit of kit, uh, that's not going to be real to me. Uh, what, 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 not, what's it, what's missing here? What's the what's the? <clears throat> okay, so there's um the reactive mind, as I mentioned earlier, there are two minds, oh, and did. that is the fly, that is the fly in the ointment. Yes, um, what we're just looking at first is in order to be able to understand everything about the mind, the manual of the mind. We need to understand just how. Uh, ideal the analytical mind is and then we can understand better what the the reactive mind influence is which we will be coming to later but the the, the point of having uh, knowledge about the analytical mind and what it's used for it is um it is how we create it's how we make things work you know like it's how we fly into space it's how we fly airplanes and how gymnasts do gymnasts etc um so when we have this reservoir of data, um, there are so many things that we can we can actually do. Um, but you, so you, you, you mentioned that the, the, the analytical mind doesn't make mistakes. Um, you know, where does the, the where does the reactive mind come into to that equation? Because w okay. we know well, these are all the yeah. These are, this is where all the unwanted feelings and emotions, inabilities, um, depression, anxiety, etc., all the non-optimum things, they actually have that one source, which is the reactive mind. Okay, well... If you remember at the beginning of the program, um, I mentioned that we have, um, you know, the analytical minds records when we're awake, when we're asleep, but it doesn't record when we are unconscious. And this is where the errors and the problems come in. Uh, and will we we'll go, be going into that? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to put you on pause. There. I'm just going to have a short uh, commercial break. Uh, we, can, we, can, okay. we can go into that a little bit more later. No worries. We had no idea. I can honestly say I felt like the world was ending. It was tearing our family apart. He just wasn't the same person anymore. And then finally, I said I had enough. And luckily, my mum found Narconon. Narconon put me in full control of my life. Call Narconon today at 01435 512 460. 01435 512 460. <laughs> When you use drugs, it's not who you are, it's what you become. It is worse than a nightmare. It is hell. What hell would be like, because every day is just in misery. And that's why I decided to go to Narconon. I never thought I would get my life back. I never thought I would get myself back. And that's what Narconon did for me. Call Narconon today at 01435 512 460. 01435 512 460. You're listening to the Noel Lindsay Report. I am Noel Lindsay. I am joining the show today by uh, Brenda Shin, who is in Australia, Perth. Thanks again for joining us today, Brenda. Uh, Brenda's going through reviewing the book, The Dianetics. We're on the chapter, uh, The Analytical Mind. I'm asking Brenda why it is that um, we, are, uh, we have this uh, perfect uh, machine, this machine that doesn't make mistakes, uh, yet there we are beset, it seems, uh, at least we're led to believe we're beset with uh, a, a numerous uh, emotional and uh, mental problems. Just before we, we get Brenda going again, if you want to advertise um, on this show, if you want to advertise vitamins, minerals, whatever you want to advertise, um, just go to the um, 
uh, noellindsayreport at gmail.com. You can send me an email uh, or go to the site, um, noellindsayreport.com and the internet radio site connected with this show. You can actually leave a message there or see what we do, et cetera, et cetera. And also, if you want to make a uh, donation or contribution to the community work that we're doing, you can do that there as well. So, Brenda, um, beset apparently by these uh, mental uh, problems, anxieties, and so on and so forth. Um, mm -hmm. But you said the analytical mind doesn't make mistakes. It's being perfect, uh, having fantastic capabilities. This may not be real. Uh, many who are listening for this. We're continually bombarded with our inabilities. You're saying that Dianetics focuses on our ability, focuses on ability. Yet, if we see any um, advert, if we go to, uh, we talk to, listen to the, 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 te the tendency in the medical health, medical, whether it's the World Health Organization, etc., continually bombarding us with the fact that uh, we have uh, these tremendous amount of mental health problems um how many of us will suffer mental health and then they give us a list of categories uh in terms of or uh, supposed uh ways that they're trying to help which which include electric shock uh, me uh, medication uh, frontal lobotomies etc none of which actually addresses any of the things which you're uh, talking about in this book you're talking about the reactive mind uh, the fact that it is uh the villain in the piece we're not going to cover that today but they're not talking about that. So somebody listening today, what are you saying to them in relation to um, perfection? Perfection is, is attainable. <laughs> when we're looking at the, rea the, the analytical mind, it's uh, quite phenomenal, it's actual capabilities. So once we actually understand what we can actually do or what how it should be, we can then more easily um, address this uh, fly in the ointment or the villain in the piece, which is the reactive mind. So the more we actually understand by reading the book, by um, you know doing um, the actual auditing is what it's called. We actually reduce the analytical mind, and when we reduce the analytical mind, the sorry, <laughs> reduce the uh, reactive mind. As we re reduce the reactive mind, the analytical minds become more and more able. So those things from the reactive mind that have been putting those imperfections there. Are taken away so then the analytical mind can start working at a more optimum more uh, you know the more you do the more the more it, it becomes more optimum okay and your next review you're going to cover the um, reactive mind how it works in relation to the analytical mind and all the details of how the counselor the dynetics counselor who has been trained in in the the actual workings of the mind, uh, the discoveries of L. Ron Hubbard in relation to the fact that there is a there is such a thing called um, a reactive mind. The Dynetics Counselor is in fact an expert in, in how these two things uh, click together and work and how you access them. That is the most important thing because if you're saying that there is a true source of um, mental ills, aberration, uh, and um, the true dysfunctioning location, the true dysfunctioning of the analytical mind, you have to know how to get there. Indeed, yes. This is the manual for the mind. Absolutely needs to be understood. We all we all have a mind. We all need to know exactly the ins and outs. Yeah, you mentioned yeah. you mentioned that um, the, the mind records every consecutive moment apart from unconscious. That got to do apart from the, when the patient or the individual is unconscious. What has that got to do with the? Without getting into what has that got to do with the, the reactive mind and the um, notion of mental? So we'll be, yes, we will definitely be covering this quite a lot because it is quite a very key part in what we're talking about in mental health. So when we are unconscious, um, times of uh, even a mild unconsciousness, which is, uh, it's not definitely absolutely out cold, the this is when the reactive mind takes over and just very briefly <clears throat> what happens is the the reactive mind then takes the job of putting control in let's say 
and it takes over the analytical thought because its aim is to guide you away from danger, but it doesn't, it can't differentiate between true danger and something similar. So this is what the problem is. It can make you feel anxious. It can make you feel depressed. So, I mean, you're going to get into that next week and how <laughs> how unconsciousness is, is linked to um, uh, mental uh, disorders, mental aberration and so on. So what is it? What has that got to do with frontal lobotomy, medication, electric electric shock, um, uh, etc.? In what has that got? What has the reactive mind got to do with the the type of uh, treatment that we see being administered to uh, those with mental uh, illness and problems? We never hear, for example, uh, about the reactive mind. If you look at a publication, if you look at uh, any. Uh, publication say from the world health organization the psychiatric uh, profession there's no there's no data out there about the reactive mind we have lots of labels lots of disorders uh but no actual recognition so how can that those two things uh, marry up yeah so you're totally right they um in the mainstream we don't hear about it it does exist it's in dianetics if you've not heard of it before, you need to read Dianetics. Now, because it's not been known, there's been a grasp at straws. It's like there's a problem. Sadly, electric shock, prefrontal uh, lobotomies, psychoanalysis, psychotropic drugs, hypnosis, etc., are not the solution because they attack they make things worse. They are actually dangerous. They are damaging. They are debilitating. Whereas an understanding of reducing the reactive mind, making the analytical mind more and more optimum, a person becomes well and happy and successful in life and they achieve things that they want to do. This is an optimum. So, and also, I mean, vitamins and, uh, you know, people have trouble. trouble a medical, it could be a medical situation, um, bad nutrition, exercise, taking up hobbies, doing the things that you want to do in life, associating with people that are um, have your best interest at heart. So all these things all can contribute to good mental health. But what we still need to understand is that the reactive mind at work um, is not good. It is the single source of all the unwanted feelings, emotions, and actions. So that's that's quite that's quite a, okay. Well, that's quite a quite a statement. But you're going to go into that mm -hmm. next week. Um, we're going to be rounding up the analytical mind. We're, today we're talking about uh, mental wealth, not mental health. We're talking about mental wealth, and you've given us a brief summary of um, the enormous capacity and workings of the uh, analytical mind. Um, obviously, in detail, the details are in the books, which you've already um, outlined. Um, let's uh, end with this. Uh, you're going to come back with uh, to us shortly with uh, the reactive mind which is quite an extraordinary tale in itself uh, don't miss that or get the book and go let's go through it um, together this is the tale that's not been told this is the truth that uh, has been hidden um, so uh, join the Noel Lindsay report in our next episode uh, the reactive mind and true villain of the piece exposed all the fear anxiety and depression and mental ill man knows located in one place for Dianetics undetected closed. Here you find the real reason you can do, you can't do as you postulate, think and suppose. Utilize your full capacity, capability and richness of the analytical mind. Be you in your true glory, your true story at last. Brenda, wow. thanks very much for joining us on the Noel Lindsay Report. I look forward to your um, next episode. I'm uh, going to be looking. Um, thank you very much. Once again, connect to us, the Noel Lindsay Report, uh, gmail. Uh, on, uh, Noel Lindsay Report dot com.
um, or through ones who get the book. You can go through uh, any org. You're a Bab or a Babette and you want to order Dianetics 01216550112 uh, or from all the people in Perth, Brenda. Yes, and can we just mention that we have seminars as well that uh, you can actually attend a seminar from time to time. Yeah, that's right. We uh, there's there's books, there's DVDs, and there's seminars which you get um, supervised uh, 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 through the book on actually how to apply the technology of Dianetics. This is not a theory. This is in fact a technology. This was research that has been done, proven, uh, scientifically proven. That's why it's called the di Dianetics, the modern science of mental health. Well, thanks for joining us today. We looked at our enormous potential and mental wealth. Brenda Shin, Australia, thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you, you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.